16 December 2022. This Skidmark, I'm going to talk about something that's worrying me, and it's about our security. Now, I saw this earlier today, and I asked on Twitter, who is going to protect us? This is in our neighboring country, this is in Mozambique. And it says the Islamic State announced another attack on the barracks of the Mozambican army, which took place on December 12 in Cabo Delgado, as a result of which the military fled from their positions, leaving piles of weapons and ammunition to the attackers. Now, the reason why that bothered me is I saw this post. Here are some numbers of active duty army members. China, 2,185 million soldiers, 58 generals. India, 1.45 million soldiers, 2 full generals and 8 lieutenant generals. United States, 1.388 million soldiers. 231 generals to be reduced to 220 at the end of this year. Russia, 1 million soldiers, 71 generals. South Africa doesn't even have 75,000 troops, yet we have 400 generals. In total, all above countries have 370 generals, commanding six million men. South Africa has 400 in charge or maybe 70,000. Now to understand and say that we are a banana country is an understatement. This is just to put things in perspective. And I really read that and then I remembered this. Black people are the only group of people in the world who have natural intelligence. We are the only people who can practice every single profession without going to school for it. And then she gives an example there which is total bullshit. Dr. Hamilton Naki was a self-taught surgeon who performed the world's first heart transplant. And uh, I am worried. You see posts like this. Panyasa Lesufi has revealed that despite investing almost 600 million rand in the refurbishment and upgrading of the Anglo Gold Ashanti Hospital. The department feel they can't use the hospital because it's not safe. The Zama Zamas have taken over the hospital. So, a bunch of illegal miners just take, they just take a hospital. Where is our defense force? And then you see an image like this. Look at that pistol on her hip, upside down in that holster. What the fuck is that? So, Zama Zamas takes a hospital. And for those that are not from South Africa, Zama Zamas is the name they give an illegal miners. And I wonder where is our military that is supposed to protect us. Now here's an image of our Minister of Defense. Take a good look at that. This is the woman that got a pig farm near Pochestrum on some BEE scam and she didn't buy, f she didn't pay her workers and she didn't buy food for the pigs. When the SPCA got on the scene, the pigs were already eating each other. Now she's in charge of our defense force. She can't even look after pigs. Look at these Defence Force members. Those fat people, they're supposed to defend us. Look at it and think about it. And then you see stuff like this. A rattle flipped in the Free State. This. A logistics truck from military truck in a head-on collision in the Free State. And then you see this. That whole low bed loader system and the tank flipped. And 
that is what's left of that helicopter and here's another helicopter. So I have to ask again to these blacks, they are in charge of everything. And uh, maybe one of those 400 generals can answer, will we be able to prevent something like this that has happened in Cabo Delgado? It is serious. This is very close to us. Very close. So, not only is ESCOM down the fucking drain from this clever BEE people that are of the opinion they can do anything without studying for it, they don't need experience, they don't need training, and uh, they're supposed to protect our country. And if I look at the millions of illegal immigrants that just walk over our borders, I am worried. We will be in deep shit if the Islamic State guys decide they're going to come down south. And as you can see, I'm sitting here in the dark, it's low chilly. It's another four hour session. We had a four hour session earlier in the day. Then we had four hours of power. And now we've got another four hour session. This is South Africa. And we need to be happy and satisfied with what is going on in our country. I can guarantee you, it's on the record. During the so-called apartheid regime years, we had the cheapest power and the most reliable power, one of the most reliable power supply companies in the world. We had the cheapest electricity in the world. We had a military that was respected by the world. And if you don't believe me, just think about it for a moment. The ANC mustered the whole world to tackle us with sanctions and all types of threats, but not a single one of them for a moment considered it to attack us physically, to come and do a regime change here with their soldiers. Why? I'll tell you why. They knew they would die here in heaps. Today is the 16th of December. It's the day of the covenant. It was on this day that 240 Boers were confronted by 10,000 Zulus. Not a single loss on the Boer side and that river was running red. That's why they call it Blood River. So, my question to these clever blacks that are in charge of everything, do you think you are going to be able to protect our country against ISIS? And if you have connections in the army, ask them. And if you get an answer, come and tell me. And on that note, please give me a like and a subscribe and share the thing. Have a great evening.